Hi, my name is Sydney Sabino. I am a civil engineering major and the athletic affairs director on Lafayette student government. And I'm also on the women's basketball team. People always want a behind the scenes look at the life of a division one student athlete. So I'm gonna take you through a normal day for me. I start my day by waking up at 7.30 a.m., grabbing a Vega brand protein smoothie and a Nature Valley protein bar for breakfast. Gotta hashtag fuel up for the day. Then I make my way over to Skillman Cafe where I grab a coffee and do my homework. After I finish hitting the books, I hit the weights at 9 a.m., which always puts me in a great mood to start my day. I live with Coach Potts, he's awesome. Oh yeah, and you can't forget about my fellow Joycey man, Gino. They really know how to motivate us to be the strongest we can be. They put us through sports-specific workouts that prepare us for an extremely long season and make us the best conditioned team in the Patriot League. Once I finish pumping iron, I head over to Kirby around 10.15 a.m. to meet with the one and only Coach Tom for a one-on-one -on -one skill workout. After working on my game, my Athletic Affairs Committee chairs and I meet with our amazing Athletic Director, Sharita Freeman, and other members of the Athletic Department around 11.30 a.m. During these meetings, we discuss how we can better Lafayette College from an athletic perspective and how we can better build the relationship between student athletes and the rest of the student body. Following my meetings, I usually eat lunch at Gilbert's Cafe or Upper Farinon. Being an engineering major and a student athlete at Lafayette has a huge workload, but it is 100% manageable. After I fuel myself with a nice Gilbert's vegan smash sandwich and a lentil soup, I head over to my lab for my land surveying class for about three hours. Surveying is an awesome class and it is super hands-on. We physically get to go outside and survey the land of our school by performing three wire level loops or using the total station to make a contour map of an allotted area of our school. Professor Roger Ruggles has been teaching this class for a very long time and is one of the most knowledgeable and experienced civil engineering professors here. I really recommend taking one of his classes. After lab, I head straight over to practice, which is about two hours long. Coach Kia has done a great job setting up a culture of high competitiveness and hard work, which makes our practices challenging, but a lot of fun. After practice, I grab a quick dinner at Lower Farinon and then head over to my student government full body meeting. During this meeting, every committee in student government is present. This is where we keep each member of student government up to date on what is going on with each committee. Guest speakers also come into these meetings. For example, Dean of Admissions, Matt Hyde, came in to discuss the influx of students coming into Lafayette and how the college is dealing with it. It is important for student government to obtain this knowledge so we can communicate it with the rest of the student body who may not know what is exactly going on. After this meeting, I usually go back to my room to unwind and finish up some extra work that I may have to get done. And that's a day in the life of Sydney Sabino. Thanks for chilling with me. Also, follow Sid the Bacon Squid on Instagram. Roll parts.